What's up everybody, it's the Inhuman One here and today I'm going to show you how to beat Ravenbeak and Metroid Dread. So without further ado, let's get started. In phase one, Ravenbeak might pause and shoot his beam cannon upwards. Once he does this, a wave of red light will cover the entire area except for a safe spot right next to Ravenbeak. Phase shift to the safe zone and prepare to dodge away from a three hit melee combo that he likes to follow up with. If his armor begins to glow red, He's about to release all of the kinetic energy he has been absorbing in a massive wave. He will get to one side of the screen, pull his arm back, and the entire upper half of the arena will turn red. Use Samus's morph ball form in order to avoid this attack. Prepare to counter a follow up melee strike immediately after the red wave to deal huge amounts of bonus damage. Ravenbeak can also shoot a black orb in Samus's direction. This can be easily dispatched by firing four well aimed missiles at the projectile before it reaches you. After taking enough damage, Ravenbeak will eventually start glowing a golden hue. Once he does this, watch for his taunt, because immediately after he motions with his hand, there will be not one but two parry opportunities. If you nail the parries, you'll make it to phase 2 in no time. In phase 2, Ravenbeak will take flight. One of his many attacks is a horizontal dash. If he does this, simply run towards him and slide below. He will typically scoot back before executing this attack. If Ravenbeak flies to the top of the screen, prepare for a vertical slam attack. Wait until he begins to hover and phase shift out of the way. If Ravenbeak turns his entire body and aims his beam can at a downward angle, be sure to position Samus either underneath or behind him to avoid the blast. If Ravenbeak begins to track Samus with a laser, head to the far side of the screen and prepare for a near endless stream of shots. Move towards Ravenbeak and once you reach the opposite side, begin space jumping in a counterclockwise direction until the volley ends. Phase 3 has all of the same attacks from Phase 1 and about 4 additional tricks. The first being a massive blast that Ravenbeak will fire off when he takes a wide stance and aims at Samus with both arms. Wait until the tip of his beam cannon lights up and space jump behind him. If Ravenbeak fires out a mini sun, prepare for a fun time. He will either try to ram you or he will position himself on the opposite side of the screen and fire charged blasts from his beam cannon as you avoid the sun's rays. In this phase, the best thing to do is to try and avoid Ravenbeak's beam cannon as a priority, and then attempt to space jump around the sun's waves, which only has a total of 5 bursts before it dissipates. Ravenbeak does have a parryable attack in this phase, and he will start off with backstepping and then lunging for Samus, so a well-timed parry will result in bonus damage. Once he's taken enough damage, congratulations, you've beaten the last boss in Metroid Dread. So today I got you one step closer to the obligatory self-destruct sequence. Today I showed you how to unlock your full potential. And today I showed you how to beat Ravenbeak and Metroid Dread. What the fuck have you done lately? It's the Inhuman One, signing out. Catch you guys next time.